like India have lost the World Cup path. They are no longer World Cup champions. 2011 was their great moment. 2015, they've lost to Australia by 95 runs in Sydney. We're doing a post-mortem, but we're not going to blame any single individual. Instead, we're trying to find out the reasons for what is really a collective failure in the face of a really good side. Boria Majumdar and Saurabh Ganguly are in Sydney. Nikhil Chopra and Andrew Simons with us here in the studio. Boria, the, the Indian crowd there, how, how have they taken defeat? Are they behaving like some of their counterparts in India who have burnt effigies of the players? Was there disappointment or was there anger? There was disappointment, Rajdeep, and may I say that I said it to Saurav uh, in the break, that what you said at the end of uh, uh, the last segment, that we need to take it with realism and we are not blaming anybody, I need to compliment you for that. I think that was a fantastic statement, and I think that's the message that we on Headlines today should give out to our viewers. People here are disappointed, but they also accept that it is sport at the end of the day and they've lost to a better cricket team. Had India batted first, scored 329, who knows? But Australia, their conditions, home conditions, is a better cricket team and we've lost to them. Seven matches on the trot, you've lost one. So don't blame your players and don't go and abuse them. Think about it. 2011, who are the finalists? India and Sri Lanka. Who were they? Co-hosts. 2015, Australia and New Zealand. Who are they? Co-hosts. Home conditions, huge, huge advantage in international cricket at this point in time. And this is a reflection. Dhoni and his team did fairly well in this World Cup. And the crowd realizes that. And I'm very happy that they realize that. They're complimenting the Australians, congratulating the Australians. Disappointed, but not angry. But you know, here, uh, Saurav, as I, we've been playing some images of people burning effigies of the players, saying, you know, as I said, why was Anushka Sharma in Australia? She distracted Virat Kohli. What would you like to tell these people? who seem to react in these extreme manners and bring in the most ridiculous explanations for an Indian defeat. What would you like to tell them? Are we in the media responsible for this? Have we tried to create such an uh, image around this team as if it is unbeatable, that then when we lose, we try to look for a scapegoat? No, I don't think so, Rajiv. I don't think media is responsible for this. Media, media writes what they see. India have played well in this World Cup so far till they lost to Australia. They've been really challenged by a good side after three or four very ordinary games uh, which led up to this semi-final. Uh, you know, to the people who've been doing this, I think it's really, really stupid. Uh, you got to give credit to the way India played. Uh, see, you can only play what you get. And till the lead up to the semi-finals, they have been outstanding. And why Anushka Sharma, what wrong she has done? You know, when two people are in love, there's nothing wrong in it. You know, she's come to watch, uh, uh, watch this person play. Our families come and watch us play in big games. Then they can never be a distraction because they really urge you to play well. And it's really sad to see the mindset of some of these people in, in, this, in this modern era. You know, she, may be a, she may be an actress. The other person is the captain of India in, in test cricket. Uh, that doesn't stop them from being human beings. So I think it's really immature and they shouldn't be doing this. You know, I, 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 Harbhajan Singh joins me. Someone who's also lived life in the fast lane and seen uh, what pressure is, 2011 World Cup champion. Bhaji, you think it's unfair the way players are targeted every time we lose? Everybody is looking for a scapegoat. Dhoni smiling, some channels are upset. Why is Dhoni smiling? It means he hasn't taken defeat <laughs> seriously enough. What, 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 do I, what, do I, what do we tell such people? I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's really bad the way people are... Uh doing things about you know why Dhoni is still laughing or why XYZ is laughing or what they have done or whatever you know it's a, it's a game you know they have played so well they have reached in the semis uh, of course uh, you know semi-final was with the uh, Australian who are as good team as India and uh, okay we have lost a game of cricket we all understand and but uh, I can assure you as a player they all have given their best shot you know and end of the day the better team have won today and um, and we didn't play too a as well as we should have that's fine but um, people need to understand every player go onto the field every time they walk onto the field they want to make sure we uh, keep the flag high but um, what went wrong happen, then? you know you lose if you had to analyze the game more seriously and i'm going to ask my producer to play, make the top band stop targeting the players you know, stop these extreme reactions, but yes, there, what, what, there's no what, need for the extreme reactions. So, so what we went wrong? Game. What do you think went wrong? Can I say something yes. before? Before sure, sure, go Raji ahead. answers that. I think in this case with the captain, if he had gone in there and been sulking and angry and blaming players, he would have been criticised for that as well. So, no matter what he does, he's going to be criticised because of the result of the game. 
Okay, good point, Andrew. But uh, what do you think went wrong then, Bhaji? Purely in cricketing terms, yeah, yeah. what went wrong? See, in cricketing terms, I'll tell you that we didn't get the partnerships. You know, when we needed the partnership after uh, Shikhan and Rohit, they gave us the start. And after that, you know, we lost Virat Kohli. That could happen. And uh, before you think we could have chased 328? Eh? Yes, definitely. You had, you could have given yourself a bit more chance. You know, you lost all of the same thing. He'll tell you the same thing that you can only come, you know, win these sort of games if you'll continue to bat for longer period of time and get those partnership going. You know, if you'll take too many of chances, then uh, obviously you'll fall short of about 90 odd runs. But you, know, you have to give your self a better chance to chase those runs by increasing your partnership and we had to have a better partnership in the middle and you know I, I, I take your India. point Baji we had a 77 run opening partnership and after that we struggled till Rahane and Dhoni came together and that was much too late but was our batting found out in that sense uh, Saurabh you know the fact is that this was a really world-class attack that we played and the first world-class attack that we played some of our batsmen perhaps got their 40s but struggled a bit when you play real quality pace. It's the pressure of the big score. It's the pressure of 329, Rajdeep. India would have got 329. Australia would have been under pressure also. Good toss to win. Australia batted outstandingly, especially Aaron Finch and Steve Smith. They took the game away from India. India were lucky that they restricted them to 329. I was at one stage thinking 350, 360. So when you when you're chasing such a big total, it's very very difficult. Look at this World Cup. How many times India got 300, and how many times the opposition managed to get it? Not even once. Are you saying so if the India had won the toss? Are you saying Dada if India years. had won the toss and batted first, the result could have been different? I'm not saying the result would have been different, but it would have been a different game. Uh, India could have been all out for 233, like Sri Lanka got all out in, in Sydney in the first quarter final for 137 after batting first. New Zealand chased 298 the other, other night against South Africa, although uh, A.B. De Villiers captaincy helped them to get 40 more runs on that, on that pitch. But when you have two good captains in a World Cup semi-final in Michael Clark and M.S. Dhoni, if you get 300, you won't let the opposition get. So it was the pressure of a score of the scoreboard. Three, three things, good toss to win, pressure of the scoreboard and against a very good bowling attack. You know, that, that, those are three valid points and those are three cricketing points that we would make. I mean, the once, once we lost the toss, he scores 328. Not easy to chase 328 with scoreboard pressure against a really quality attack. It's I mean, let's be clear, this Australian attack, is a very good one. They may not, they don't have a spinner of the quality of Harbhajan, <laughs> but barring that, they've got a very, very good attack. Rajdeep, we look at Stark coming at close to 150 kilometers an hour, Mitchell Johnson close to 150 kilometers an hour, Hazelwood has been in top notch form. Those three get over, 30 overs are gone. Where do you get the 328 runs for the rest of the 20 overs? Uh, look, look, when you're looking to win a World Cup, you have to win these sort of games. I mean, uh, you have played against Ireland, you have played against UAE and, and, and West Zimbabwe. Indies and Zimbabwe. That's all fine, you know, we have done well, but uh, we have to win these sort of games, you know, playing against the top oppositions, as good as you, you know, beat them whether they have scored 320 or 326, you know, with this kind of uh, format, one fielder more in the, uh, in the circle all the time and you have power play and stuff, with the kind of batting lineup we have. I would have backed my guys to win this. Uh, you would have backed this. us and to chase course, 300. So you're you're course. disagreeing slightly with Dada. You yes, don't think I, that I, the scoreboard I'm, pressure. I'm not disagreeing. You're saying this you push <laughs> you push the total till that 30th, 35th over. Push the total till yes. the power play. Take, wait till the take, power play. Take the game along. You know, take the game uh, till the last. And unfortunately, Dhoni was the only one who was standing there. There were hardly any batsmen left with him. And and wicket was really really good. To be honest, that wasn't Australian wicket. To be honest, that was a very very Indian wicket. Yeah, but you know, I, I got a sense that the Indians were just a step behind the pace, Andrew. You know, when, when Stark and when Johnson were attacking, you could get a sense that even Dhoni was struggling to get his timing right. You, you know, it's not easy to lift Stark over his head for six. Let's yeah. get it. You know, it's easier to, to hit a, a, a Manish Sharma or a, or, or a Umesh Yadav, but, you know, Stark is bowling brilliantly at the moment. And he's bowling fast, so all this is he's happening. He's bowling quick. The, all this is happening very quickly, um, straight and fast. Um, very hard to score at 10, 12, 14 runs and over at the end of a one day international. So what we're saying is that the quality of the Australian attack is, is of a very high quality and it's very difficult to score 
you know, heavily for a long period of time against bowling like that. So maybe all those who are burning effigies of these players, we should ask you to face Mitchell Stark. Let them bat against Mitchell Stark. We've got to get a few people to face Mitchell Stark at 145, 150, and then we'll know who wants to burn whose effigies. But yes, Moria, you wanted to make a point. You know what, Rajdeep, think about the way Michael Clark captained. The moment there was one wicket down, James Faulkner was going for runs. He immediately got a slip in. He got his best bowlers back. He got Josh Hazelwood back. Not even one over was an easy over. And think about the Australian lineup. You mentioned the attack. Even James Faulkner and Shane Watson are top quality bowlers bowling 140 kilometers an hour. Sure. Five top quality bowlers along with Glenn Maxwell. Six good bowlers in that side. No easy runs. So 328, Budgie, with due respect, 328 was beyond you. The moment Australia gets 328 under lights, you can't do that. 99 times out of 100 teams will win if they get 325, 328 final on home conditions. I thought it was beyond India. I said it at the, at the, at the mid-inning show. India's done well in this World Cup. We should be happy about that. But today we've lost to a better quality cricket team. Uh, Boria, I don't agree with you here. We, we have played... Uh... We have played uh, some light oppositions, to be honest. You know, this we was beat South Africa by 100 runs. We, I agree. We, 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 we have done South well. Africa we have done well. We have done well. We beat but the Pakistanis who then beat the South Africans. I, I agree. I agree. We did really well against South Africa. But this was a pressure game and this was a wicket where we could have come really, really close. And I had the belief that we have the batting lineup which can, uh, you know, chase those runs. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Okay, let, 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 let me just take a couple of calls and then I, I, I want to come to the point also whether the game itself has changed. The intensity and the aggression with which cricket is now played, whether it's a McCullum or a Maxwell or even Clark as captain. But the first call is from Hyderabad. Go ahead, sir. What is your question? You have a question, sir, from Hyderabad? Okay, the, the lines got cut, but sort of take that. Well, you know, my, my sense is that the game has changed dramatically even between 2011 and 15. What Maxwell is doing, what McCullum is doing, is, is taking what Jay Surya did in 96 to another level. The sheer aggression of the sport. What Mitchell Stark is doing by looking for wickets all the time. Is the game changing? That now it's about taking wickets and it's about power hitting. Unorthodox hitting in the middle of the, in the key middle overs. See, you won't get a Glenn Maxwell very often, Rajdeep, to be honest. To me, he's a freak. Uh, no, he could, he could just change the game on his, on his heels any day. But I think what McCullum does at the top, India has got capability in Shekhar Dhawan. I saw Shekhar Dhawan gave India a good start today or India could not capitalize. The Indian bowlers have bowled well, but it's just about, it's just about the occasion, uh, this game, where I, I think they, have been, they were outplayed by a very, very good side. Now, India, needs to, India needs to look at a few things before, uh, once they finish this World Cup and go home and, and take a break and start rebuilding their side. Uh, because the next World Cup will be again in England and away from India. They have some holes in this team which they need to fill up. In Australia, don't have many holes. They bat deep. Give me one hole. Lower out of batsmen. Give me one hole. Look at Faulkner at number. Give me one hole in the Indian team. I think there are few few things which need. I think I think your uh, third seamer is an issue against good attack. I I know Mohit Sharma bowled well, but he doesn't look the class of Mohammad Shami or Umesh Yadav. Suresh Raina has to get runs in overseas conditions against good attacks if he has to be a consistent member of Indian in Indian 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 even the Indian one day side. You know Ravindra Jadeja at number seven. He's got to pick wickets. He's either got to pick wickets or, or got to pick runs or got to get runs at number seven. So right. these are certain areas India needs to look at. Look at Australia. You know, Maxwell at 6, Faulkner at 7. Faulkner got a cameo. Okay, got a cameo 30 today and, 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 and got the runs to actually look at Mitchell Johnson coming at number 11 and getting at 27 of 9 deliveries. So these are these areas India needs to work on. It's, it's, it's fine saying we are a good side in world right. cricket. Uh, it's fine saying that we are world beaters. But we have been challenged every time we've traveled overseas. There's no question about it. Uh, you look at uh, the, all your one day series in the last three or four years when you've traveled overseas, you've been challenged and you've lost. You've not won many. So I think right. these are the areas we, we, we all need to work and get better. You can cover things up. You can say everything is fine. Uh, you can say, well, how does it bother to me if I don't need to speak that on television? But these are true facts which make you a better side. As I okay. look at New Zealand, they're bad deep. They are, they, are, they are a long way in this World Cup. Australia, they're bad deep. They are a different side in this World Cup. So these areas India need to work on if they need to be a better side. 
You know, I'm, I'm going to at one stage challenge you at some stage about Maxwell being a freak. I'm worried now that Maxwell is the prototype of the new cricketer. New cricketers are going to be told, please bat like Maxwell. Sida mat khelo. Bat, <laughs> bat 360 degrees like Maxwell does. I have a caller from Chennai. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm Christian from Chennai. Yeah, yeah, Hi, Christian. Yeah, 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 gra- uh, basically, basically, it is time we introspect than in a positive sense and uh, I am a little bit disappointed that Bhaji is criticizing the Indian team because he belongs to a generation which has been handed over by Saurav where we started developing new uh, uh, faster bowlers and more aggressive and positive cricketers. Right. I would like to say yes, we lost it. We lost it uh, very badly. Yes, it hurts all of us. But let us sit down, when, let the team come back, let us have a positive introspection where we can all have. Yes, fine, okay. we should okay. understand. I, I, we I, should I, end, no, no, one more thing, we should understand that we yes. lost our match in spite of the, the top bowler who is taking four wickets and he's, he still gave away too much of runs. Okay, I take we your point. Umesh Yadav Umesh Yadav went for seven and over. Krishna, I take your point. Bhaji, are you criticizing the Indian team too much is what he's saying? I am not criticizing the team, it's my team. And obviously, I felt we could have got the partnership going. That's all I said. You are disappointed and that, that yeah, the batting didn't I am disappointed kick. because I sincerely felt this team has the Even thing. against this attack? Yes, definitely. Even against this Australian yes. attack? India was the only team who could have beat Australia. And Australia was also scared from us. But we didn't bat well. Okay. That's all I said. And okay, we okay. needed to build a partnership. If I am saying something wrong, I'm sorry, but... Okay, no, you don't have to be sorry. You're being honest. You're saying that we could have built the partnerships and maybe we didn't build the, enough of those partnerships. I'm going to get Andrew on that question of Glenn Maxwell. Uh, just enough time to get a few final comments from all our panelists. Uh, someone, Deepak Virmani, has sent me a message where he says, uh, look, I can't get through to you, but just tell MSD and his team they did a great job. We're not blaming anyone for this defeat. We simply lost to a better team. I think that's a great message. Agreed? Yes, definitely. That's the message? Yes, that's the yeah. message. But along Perfect. with that message, the question, yeah, <laughs> I, the, the, these better teams, are they also framing the rules to benefit the Australians, the likes of Maxwell and others, <laughs> just three fielders allowed outside the circle? You guys have framed this rule so that you want the cup back. <laughs> if right? Stra- if or was it you? If was Australia changing? makes the rules, well... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, uh, Andrew, we, we're going to discuss this later tonight. Uh, Nikhil, just lost to a better team. Well, without a doubt. I think on, on the day, you know, Australia played much better brand of cricket and it's unfortunate. Team India, seven games on the trot, just one of those bad days. Okay, Saurabh sort of Ganguly, do you think MSD should retire or do you think MSD should, has a lot more cricket in him? Let me get a news point out of you. No, no, absolutely not. He shouldn't retire at all. Uh, he's 34. He's, uh, uh, he's, he's well in the World Cup as a batsman. I think his best performance in a World Cup. So 2007 World Cup wasn't good as a batsman. 2011, which India won, he had six in the finals. And the 2015 at least he got a good 60 as well today. So I don't think MS Dhoni needs to retire. Obviously, once this concert happens, once the IPL. They'd sit there and find a way forward how okay. to become a better team. Okay, so MSD should. It's a good team, but still, we need to be. There are holes which need to be filled up actually in overseas conditions. Okay, I think the message is clear. We're having some problem with the link there from Australia. So, Borya, sort of, you'll have to bear with us for that. Uh, but the bottom line is at the end of the day, an era has ended. The era which was started by the likes of Saurabh Ganguly in the early 2003 World Cup then carried forward into that 2011 World Cup by Harbhajan and his, and his mates. That era is coming to an end. And a new team will have to come to challenge for the World Cup. This World Cup, quite simply, the two best sides, I think we are in agreement to that, the two best sides have made it to the final. It's India versus Pakistan? No. It's Australia versus New Zealand. So it's the down-under version of India versus Pakistan. And we know who Andrew is backing at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on Sunday. It's going to be a great game. And that's really what we want. It was a bit of a one-sided semi-final today, which is a bit of a disappointment. But that happens sometimes in this game called cricket. Thank you very much. Harbhajan Singh, Andrew Simons, Nikhil Chopra for joining us. And listen, guys, if you want to burn the effigies of cricketers, all I can say, go and get a life. Good night. Goodbye.